Hello friends, I am Ranjit Dhunde. Welcome back to the lecture series on the topic Laplace transform. In today's lecture, we will see Laplace transform of a periodic function. Now, what is periodic function? A function f of t is said to be periodic with period capital T if f of t is equal to f of t plus capital T and this t be the positive real number. Now this is equal to f of t plus n times capital T. Here this n be the natural number for all t. This is the definition of the periodic function. Now, for example, sin t be the periodic function with period 2 pi because sin t is equal to sin t plus 2 pi. This is equal to sin t plus n times 2 pi. The here period be the 2 pi. Now the graph of the sin t. This is the t axis. This is origin. Maximum value of sin t be the 1. Minimum value of sin t be the minus 1. Now the graph is This is the graph of the sin t and length of this interval be the 2 pi. Now this graph is repeat after equal interval. P pi 4 pi. Again this interval be the 2 pi. So therefore the graph of periodic function repeat after equal interval. Important note the graph of a periodic function repeat after equal interval. Similarly, cos t is the periodic function with period 2 pi and cos n t be the periodic function with period 2 pi upon n. Now Laplace transform of a periodic function theorem. If f of t is a periodic function with period capital T, then Laplace transform of f of t means Laplace transform of periodic function is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e to the power minus s times capital T integration 0 to t e to the power minus st f of t dt. Now proof by definition of Laplace transform Laplace transform of f of t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt. Now we divide the interval 0 to infinity into 0 to capital T and capital T to infinity. Now by substituting small t is equal to u plus capital T in the second integral and therefore this dt is equal to du. Now limits when this t is equal to capital T 
u is equal to this t minus capital t means capital t minus capital t answer is zero and when t tends to infinity this u tends to infinity therefore laplace transform of f of t is equal to first integral as it is zero to capital t e to the power minus st f of t dt plus now the second integral the integration zero to infinity now e to the power minus s times small t in here small t be the u plus capital t then f of small t again this small t be the u plus capital t and this dt be the du this is equal to this first integral as it is plus now here e to the power minus su times e to the power minus s times capital t now this integration with respect to u therefore the term e to the power minus s capital t taking outside the integral therefore e to the power minus s u now f of u plus t now f of t be the periodic function therefore f of u be the periodic function now f of u plus capital t answer is f of u therefore here is f of u du now by using the definition of laplace transform this integral be the laplace transform of f of u that means integration is independent on the variable so therefore this integration be the laplace transform of now simplification the here laplace transform of f of t be the common term therefore 1 minus e to the power minus s capital t times laplace transform of f of t integral 0 to capital t e to the power minus s t f of t dt and therefore this laplace transform of f of t means laplace transform of periodic function is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e to the power minus s times capital t integral 0 to capital t e to the power minus s t f of t dt this is the laplace transform of a periodic function f of t with period capital t let us see some example now example 1 find the laplace transform of the periodic function f of t is equal to cos omega t if t between 0 to pi by omega and f of t is equal to 0 if t between pi by omega to 2 pi by omega now solution now here this f of t is a periodic function with period Two pi by omega. Now length here length of the interval be the two pi by omega because two pi by omega minus zero answer is two pi by omega. Now the Laplace transform of a periodic function. So therefore, L of f of t is equal to one upon 1 minus e to the power minus s capital t integral 0 to capital t e to the power minus s t f of t dt now here this period period be the 2 pi by omega so therefore this is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e to the power minus s 2 pi by omega integral 0 to 2 pi by omega 
e to the power minus st f of t dt. Now we divide the interval 0 to 2 pi by omega into 0 to pi by omega and pi by omega to 2 pi by omega. Now f of t be the cos omega t if t between 0 to pi by omega plus integral pi by omega 2 pi by omega e to the power minus st times f of t here f of t is 0. Therefore, this second integral be the 0. So, this is equal to 1 upon. Now, for this integral, we recall the formula integration e to the power x cos bx dx is equal to e to the power x upon a square plus b square times a cos dx plus b sin dx. Therefore, this integral is equal to e to the power minus st upon this my minus e s yes square plus omega square times minus s yes cos omega t plus omega sin omega t and limits 0 to pi by omega. Now upper limit e to the power minus pi s upon omega upon s square plus omega square minus s cos omega times t means pi by omega means cos pi plus omega sin pi. This is the upper limit. Now lower limit minus e to the power 0 answer is 1 1 upon s square plus omega square times minus s yes, or 0 or 0 be the 1 plus omega sin 0 sin 0 be the 0 therefore this uh, second term be the 0 now here this cos pi so this cos pi is equal to minus 1 sin pi is equal to 0, this cos 0 is equal to 1. This is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi s upon omega e to the power minus pi s upon omega upon s square plus omega square and this is plus s because cos pi be the minus 1 the minus s times minus 1 answer is plus s plus 0 now this cos 0 be the 1 minus minus plus plus s s upon s square plus omega square now here s upon s square plus omega square be the common term so therefore answer is s upon s square plus omega square times 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi s upon omega now here is e to the power minus pi s upon omega plus 1 this is equal to s times 1 plus e to the power minus pi s upon omega upon s square plus omega square times now this this term in the form of a square minus b square so therefore its answer is a minus b times a plus b the here a is 1 and b is 
e टू द पावर माइनस पाई एस अपॉन ओमेगा ये माइनस बी मीन्स वन माइनस ई टू द पावर माइनस पाई एस अपॉन ओमेगा टाइम्स ए प्लस बी तो वन प्लस ई टू द पावर माइनस पाई एस अपॉन ओमेगा Now here one plus e to the power minus pi s upon omega get cancelled from the numerator and denominator. So this is equal to s upon s square plus omega square times one minus e to the power minus pi s upon omega. So this is the Require Laplace transform for the given periodic function. Now, second example: find the Laplace transform of the square wave function f of t is equal to k if t between zero to a, and f of t is equal to minus k if t between a to two times a, and f of t plus two times a is equal to f of t. Since this is the definition of the periodic periodic function, so here this given function f of t is a periodic function with period capital T is equal to two times a. Now the graph of the periodic function. So this is this is the graph of f of t if t between zero to a and f of t is equal to minus k if t between a to two times a. Graph is here. So this is the complete graph of the given function f of t. Now this is the periodic function. It repeats after equal interval. Again, f of t is equal to k if t between two times a to three times a, and f of t is equal to minus k if t between three times a to four times a. Means graph repeat after equal interval. Two times a. So this is the square wave function. Now it is used in electrical engineering. Now solution. So here, f of t is a periodic function with period t is equal to two times a. So therefore, Laplace transform of a periodic function. Laplace transform of f of t. Is equal to one upon one minus e to the power s yes, times capital T integral zero to capital T e to the power minus s t f of t t t. Now here this capital T be the two times a. So therefore this is equal to one upon one minus e to the power minus s yes, two times a integral zero to two times a. e to the power minus st f of t dt now we break up the interval 0 to 2 times a into 0 to a and a to 2 times a now f of t is equal to k if t between 0 to a Plus integral a to two times a e to the power minus s t, and again f of t is equal to minus k if t between a to two times a. Now this k is constant, the taking outside the integration, and integration of e to the power minus s t. Answer is e to the power minus s t upon minus. Yes, and limits zero to a. Similarly, this minus k is constant, and again, integration of e to the power minus s t, and so is e to the power minus s t upon minus s, yes, limits a to two times a. Now upper limit k upon minus s. Yes, e to the power minus s a means a s minus lower limit e to the power zero answer is one. 
now minus minus plus plus k by s yes. and here upper limit 2 times a e to the power minus 2 times a s yes. minus lower limit e to the power minus a s yes. now here this k by s yes be the common term so therefore k upon s yes times 1 minus e to the power minus times a s yes. now minus times this bracket minus e to the power minus a s yes. minus minus 1 means plus 1 plus e to the power minus 2 times a s yes. minus e to the power minus now this is the 1 minus minus e to the power minus a s minus e to the power minus a s means 2 times e to the power minus a s plus e to the power minus 2 times a s upon s times 1 minus e to the power minus 2 times a s. Now, this bracket be the a square minus 2 times a b plus b square means a minus b whole square here a is 1 and b is e to the power minus a s upon s times again this this term in the form of a square minus b square the answer is a minus b means 1 minus e to the power minus a s times 1 a plus b the 1 plus e to the power yes 1 minus e to the power minus a s get cancelled from the numerator and denominator the answer is k 1 minus e to the power minus a s upon s yes, 1 plus e to the power minus a s now multiplying numerator and denominator by e to the power a s by 2. Here is e to the power minus a s by 2 upon s yes, e to the power a s by 2 plus e to the power minus a s by 2. And this part be the tan h a s by 2. This is the required Laplace transform for the given periodic function. Hope all of you have understood this topic. In the upcoming lecture, we will discuss unit step function and its Laplace transform. Please subscribe this channel and let me know your comment and feedback. Thank you. Have a nice day.